Hey folks, Brexit update. A dark and murky drive on a cold evening, on a Sunday evening. Uh, give you a Brexit update, why not, she cried. Uh, so, Theresa May is looking on shakier ground as usual. She never was committed a uh, Brexiteer, yet she was led to represent those that had voted exit. She never had clear policy. She never was able to describe it and be eloquent about the reasons why. She came in saying Brexit means Brexit in an attempt to shake her Remainer tag. You listen to the likes of LBC Radio, which is laughable uh, mainstream media place, and you have some uh, Labour MP when the question's asked, but Rhys Mogg and Boris and Gove are quite smart people. They all wanted to exit. Um, what, are they, what are you seeing that they don't see? Um, and this guy just launches into a personal attack on all three of them. Um, the, mo the least insulting is that Rhys Mogg is minted, aka meaning wealthy, and he doesn't care a damn what we do. He seems in all his um, engagements to give quite a big damn to me uh, and in terms of his grip of financial mathematics seems to be quite well informed and seems to be catching the treasury uh, employees that Osborne the Remainer hired out on always creating very Remain friendly statistics, resisting the Brexit process etc etc. So that's Rhys Mogg. Boris Johnson, it was all just a gag to get, or a, or a, or a, a revenge to get back at Cameron. So he's, he's, he's saying uh, Boris Johnson's entire justification for working an entire campaign is just some petulant um, get back at uh, a fellow Etonian. Uh, wow, you know, that makes it... I know they're hopeless and useless and I'm uh, politicians generally and they should be deselected by virtue of their desire and hunger for power alone but that's playground stuff is it possible I suppose it is is that a real rational uh, assessment of why intelligent people voted Brexit they're all just twats he's rich and doesn't care he's just doing it as a revenge deal and Gove was described as lower than some amoeba because he didn't want um, to move forward with Johnson um, and uh, was left as some sort of saboteur of Johnson uh, running as Prime Minister when Prime Johnson clearly never wanted it in the first place. So you have three personal attacks as answers. Um, so it's all a shambles and it's been reduced to a shambles and that was always the intention. That's how you muddy the water. Add to it you had Farage going all soft and suggesting um, a second referendum uh, as if it's his mandate to say we all need remandating and yeah winning it the second time will certainly put the argument to rest it'll never put it to rest they were never satisfied they'll always say the people that wanted out were idiots and don't understand the question the argument of the remain seems to be and the, the treasury people behind it that um, people didn't know what they voted for and now it's just a mess. It was always going to be difficult to extract oneself from an octopus with multiple tentacles that have reached into every aspect of our life. Is that the reason for taking the easy road all the time so that you can have a superstructure of government sits above you that takes all power away from national government and can enforce laws, border control, over your own free national state. Since when did we become a province of EU land? Since when must we support this megalith of bureaucrats at an extra normal level of government surrounded by lobbyists entrenching corporates, mega corporates with special rights and barriers to entry so that they can hold on to their critical scale advantage and crush small and medium sized business? Sometimes I wonder who these folk are, um, I really do, 
but the key the key thing that's becoming predominantly clear is that the waters have been muddied the negotiation inverted commas there's been no in negotiation negotiation is when you say no these are the only terms under which i say that and you make a damn well stand and you make your point clear there's been no clear proper negotiation taking place and they're saying the negotiation has been going on so long um, it's just because there's no plan there's clearly no plan as there were never was intended to be one um, or there's no clarity of thinking because you've got a bunch of uh, remainers largely trying to set up a Brexit that they don't believe in and that they don't really want I mean how do you set something up to fail any better than that um, yeah, sure, throw in Davis and the odd bod here or there as sort of token affirmative action blokes. He's the token black guy on your comedy show. Um, he's, these are the token Brexiteers that are forefront and handling everything for you and for the masses. Rubbish. Rubbish. No clear mandate for power, for making decisions and drawing... Um, drawing this whole affair to a close therefore no outcome no outcome what's that do you keep on paying so they put you into long long grass you're still in the EU you voted out you voted out you spent the better part of a year and God knows when was that damn brexit election I think we spent all of 2017 in supposed negotiations and going nowhere wasn't it 16 geez I don't even know anymore we've gone nowhere we've gone nowhere because that's the plan it's the same as anything ask yourself always in these situations who gains and who loses the question is who is gaining by a perpetual state of confusion Firing prime ministers, rehiring new people, shuffles of this and that. Who gains? The status quo remains and is perpetuated a while longer. Guess what? The big crash is coming when this is all going to be academic. They're going to fiddle and fuddle and, and the band will keep playing while the Titanic sinks. And it'll all become academic because they're going to draw this thing out. That is part of Remain. That is the Remain Dark State agenda. The Financial Times, the Rothschilds, they all want you in the super state where they can prescribe through one core center to all the nations that have been enslaved by the EU bureaucratic class that are paid extortionate wages, extortionate expenses, travel to France for one week in the month, moving office and parliament, and otherwise the building stands empty. <laughs> Can you imagine running a business like that? This is the state of where we at. This is the state of where we at. These clowns will keep on clowning because there's time being bought. This is all a fiddle. Keep on keeping on with the status quo. Keep on wasting the time because in due course it'll all become academic. 2008 Mark II comes along everybody will be reliant on the special drawing rights or the bank of international settlements there'll be one rule for everybody etc etc you better stay part of the eu other things have now superseded your silly brexit thing that you never concluded x y and z and you get uh, all tied up in wool it's quite simple and uh we predicted we predicted the brexit and then we predicted that there would be by effect, whether it is claimed or not, no effect of Brexit. That whatever replaces it will not represent what was voted for. That is liberty, sovereignty over your own national borders, who you allow to come in, and it's okay to allow the right kind of people to come in, qualified, intelligent, capable people, even distressed people that are under, have had uh, are refugees providing you can control numbers and the manner and that there's no criminal aspects etc etc you're entitled to want what's good for your citizens and your country and also 
We want liberty back. We don't want the EU protectorate conglomerate with their internet laws, their data scraping, and everything else they do. They do very little of use. Where is the monopoly breakup of Google, Apple, Android, YouTube, etc.? Where is uh, the rollback of the big corporation for the benefit of the small and medium enterprise with all the embedded rules? Where is the rollback on bankers? The indebted learning, the reflation of the bubble. Where is all of this? Where is all of this? They're not doing anything of use. They're writing new laws and doing new bank tests that miraculously they design and all the banks they test pass. Only problem is Deutsche Bank is hitting all-time lows in share price. And uh, we're sitting waiting for the music to start playing, uh, the death violin music for that bank and many others. Scoundrel banks that never ever dealt and were never made to deal with their toxic balance sheets and declared healthy. <laughs> declared healthy. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Yes siree. All is well in EU bu bureaucrat central banker land. All is real well in this currency manipulated realm of Trump telling Merkel the euro is going to have to appreciate he needs to be cut a bit of slack. I won't shake your hand. And then for the next year the dollar dies and then miraculously one of the most flawed currencies which has monetary union aka interest rates but not fiscal union meaning <laughs> one country can blow its stack which happens to be in euros and another we can be conservative financially and it's all going to pan out okay this was always a political union never an intelligently thought out fiscal and monetary union there is no fiscal union <laughs> there is just a monetary policy one size fits all for many different countries and that is what has impoverished the southern mediterranean states this is your economic fascism and uh, we want to be stayed tied to that mast so that we can pick up that bill because ripoff Britain is required you must pay <laughs> you must pay you must pay for this mistake these great blunders you are part of it you can't leave if it's such a great club how come we have to pay a divorce settlement? Why aren't they paying us a divorce settlement? We buy their product. We buy more of their product than they buy of ours. They must pay us for access to our market. Rip off Britain. Why are British people paying more for BMWs, Mercedes-Benz and all these products? And I'm not just talking about the left-hand, right-hand drive. They sell in Australia and New Zealand for less. And they sell in other countries with right-hand drive for less. Why are other products sold more expensively here? Because we are a big consumer nation. And they all want to sell to us. But we must pay to leave the common market. We are the one divorcing that must pay the settlement. Are we the man? Is the EU just a big fat bloated woman? It, no wonder we want a divorce. <laughs> Can't for the life of me get my head around this story. Well, Brexit's hijacked, folks. And no effective the only Brexit is a proper, full-blown, hard Brexit. Hard just means what we voted for. Sorry, that's what we wanted. We still want it. For them, they call it hard. Control over our own borders. Right to dictate our own laws. And we don't want to be bound by your legislation. And we won't pay for access to your markets unless you're paying even more for access to ours as the net buyer in this relationship. It's simple. And if you make this hard for us, we'll just put tariffs on all your EU product to an equivalent amount, and we'll make it expensive for you and all your companies and producers, so that delaying and wasting time costs you the money and we gaining. Then we'll see how quick negotiations take place. Then we'll see how quick negotiations take place when the time value is hurting them right now there ain't no time value the longer they take the more muddled it gets 
the more chaos they can create in British politics and the more confused and crappy we look, all because of Brexit. Brexit did it. The longer the EU keeps getting its money, it serves them. It serves them all. You still remain. You still remain until there's a contract signed with your negotiated exit where everything that everybody believed was implied by getting back control over their national borders, their laws and their marketplace is reinstated. Simple as that. Simple as that. And until such time as we get that, it's nothing but a soft Brexit negotiation. We want a complete Brexit as it was intended by the election and we actually understand a lot more than you realize and we don't want to fund a super state of government under the behest and control over 300,000 lobbyists who all camp around them plowing them with wine, dinner, song and foie gras just so that they will write the laws that suit the corporations that fund these lobbyists. We are not wanting to be part of that cop corporatocracy and that is the end of that but I don't think you're gonna get what you want folks the powers that be don't want it anyway with that little brexit update and this uh, crazy ass late night drive I wish you all well let's hope I'm proven wrong it's not about being right and wrong I would like for a proper justified brexit for all Britons self-determination and Rhys Mogg himself an intelligent and prudent man in my opinion of some capability and brain and I saw how he turned the heat up on Carney Carney was the name I couldn't say on my earlier YouTube I was in one of my dyslexic states uh, about Osborne and Carney and their uh, role um, in terms of um, orchestrating the Bank of International Settlements, getting um, Carney in as the head of Bank of England, keeping HSBC out of any custodial fines for the guns debacle, um, etc, etc. Um, so I certainly can tell you that uh, I am looking forward to the day that we get a Rees Mogg uh, Prime Ministership, um, but he would need to get a lot of smart and capable friends around him, and I don't think he will ever have a plausible case for getting into power. He will not be enjoyed. His views will not be enjoyed. He's too prudent, too smart, and not control, structure, big government, Euroland, bureaucrat, corporatocracy enough orientated. He does not want to remarry the fat, bloated, dying woman. That's what he wants. He wants to escape her. He wants his divorce. And it's time she paid for something for once in her life. Anyway, with that good note, I salute you all.